then we have next point is service architectural models okay why we need uh, first model is partitioning and distribution of service components why we need this model because range of designs for dividing and distributing services are dependent on application second is type of communication service and third one is type of access devices used okay uh, for the high resource devices the application can execute locally you guys know which means that you have a supercomputer and you will do anything that you want on the supercomputer but if you make the operation which is happen on the supercomputer but you are using on the locally which is not going to be happen because the, because the capability of your local machine which is not uh, matched to the super computer uh, computers which means that you don't have that kind of resources to it so based on that a partitioning and distribution of services must be done because your local computer will done uh, will done the operation which is capable uh, of the processor that you have which means that if you put the Android, uh, if you install the Android Studio on 4 GB and if you install the Android Studio on the 8 GB, you got differences. You you will get the differences, which means that in the 4 GB of RAM, sometimes the Android Studio will lag, but in the 8 GB, it will work as a fluent like Makkan. Okay, so these things will happen partitioning and distribution of service components. Next, this is the applications. Okay, uh, not application, but it, uh, but it is an example uh, application network usage from the low resources. To the high, but low means monolithic application, which means the single operation on which uh, applications runs in a disconnected mode in high resources access devices. For example, calendar chase applications are like they are happen on your local computer, but high like low resource access devices, uh, persistent network usage to access remote services, or online gaming and voice calls, uh, which is happen. Which means that when you do the voice call, you actually connect your phone to the particular uh, server of the telecom system so based on telecom system that have a resources to you connect your call from the particular tower to the particular destination so this is the kind of a low and high and high and low based on the application network usage and application cpu usage will be there okay so this is the things will happen in the both of this just go through it it is very much important but it looks like a simple and as and i'm going again going to uh, say you is that the ubiquitous computing is a far easier subject to understand if you understand if you listen this lecture uh, itself you will get the entire idea regarding to it this next next point uh, next uh, model is multi tier client service model okay um the firstly we just go through the theory and lastly we uh, 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 in the next slide we have the exact explanation through the diagram just go through it firstly we understand what is the single tier monolithic system as we have uh, seen in our previous slide a uh, monolithic system the whole application services resides locally as i have said before you guys uh, listen uh, you guys uh, view this video on your local uh, phone if you, you if you use it on but i use the youtube services to provide you uh, the video, video which means that i have used the services of youtube on through the network and you will uh, uh, you will see this video locally so this is called called a multi but for the monolithic you see the video on your uh, own machine or the locally the system may be sorry the system may be network so that under special conditions it can go online like uh, to the, um, to see or the to um, listen this video or to see this video you, you you need to go to online on the youtube and you just understand so this is called it is called it is a monolithic but sometimes you go to the online then that for the two tier supports data access or presentation service processes execute remotely and the information associated with these services stored remotely which means that client and server model and i don't think that you will not aware about a client and server model that you have um, it's like a same uh, for same we have studied in the in the networking then third one point is a <coughs> multi tier which means that three four up to n tier system Rather than access devices being directly connected to the end services, different number of intermediate nodes can be used, which means that if you uh, if you connect your uh, things like if you upload the data on the drive, you use the services of the drive. If you see, uh, if you generate the shareable link and distribute it among the students, which means that the end client will be there and they can access your data 
periodically uh, not periodically but up to the uh, link will be valid they can access so this is the thing and the last one is the e-commerce application consists of four tiers i will explain this uh, in the next uh, slide what is actually it but just for it just uh, read this a user makes a request for a service to an application to download some content the application checks with an authentication and banking services if this okay if this okay then the content is then retrieved from the content server and delivered to the access devices okay here this is the diagram firstly it is a monolithic which means the a is the application information processing uh, and c is the some kind of a clients that we have monolithic on the local machine thin client application and client is on one machine information processing and uh, on the second machine which means that two to one this is the thing and the again the processing will come here and the processing will be there okay which means that for the two to one like processing is reside on the both on the locally or the remotely and here you got the things client is there application is there bank is here and the content is here, which means that you go through it six six has to once means uh once means six applications would uh, run independently and they make uh they make the one which means that six people make its own one request which means that you guys put a request like individual has the individual so based on this this coming to the here based on it will distribute it to the bank it will give the response based on that so this is the things this is the service architectural model but this is called a multi-tier client service model then third business service oriented computing the third model descriptions so description of some task that are offered by providers to users it is assumed that descriptions are discoverable a complication is that the provider and user may not share a common understanding of the specification or how to specify a service which means that you make the descriptions you make the specifications to understand to make the coordination between them the second is the outcomes the services is the means to achieve a defined outcome for a task like a repair service enables normal operations to be resumed with a certain time frame then we have offers to perform a task on behalf of others then we have a competency to undertake the task a provider may publish its quali qualifications executions which is actually the um, actually you are processing and then next one is the compositions multiple services may need to compose before they can be executed with respect to outcome and time constraint and the last point of our unit number one and the last point of uh, uh, in, in, uh, this, of this lecture is the service provision life cycle easy but smallly understandable first is a creation second execution third dissolution which means that uh, make make the remove 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 and there was a maintenance we also did okay what does the creation we have these five attributes regarding uh, regarding with the creation first means announcement of your service discovery of service selection of service configuration a and p which means announcement and processing and then one is composition composition of different different services are regarding to the creation okay just firstly understand to with the services look, look this is a view to your particular services you make the announcement to the service you make the discovery of the service you will you will selection of the service configuration of service and composition of services okay after creating announcing and discovering the services you will go to the execution for the execution you have a two points invoking the services and coordination with another services which are available which is a very important task execution which means that it will invoke the services it will give you another services that the particular abc service will be there and you may you, if if necessary it will relate with that things then coordinate then execution then maintenance execution we need to understand these things for the execution we need to must maintain the updations and this maintenance will be particularly uh, relate with the databases that we have 
which means that re-invoking sometimes what happens if you have an announcement is there but uh, it wouldn't be invoked so the problem will be go to the maintenance then update descriptions reconfiguration and update composition which means that if some problem uh, coming to the executions it go to the maintenance if if the success if it also successfully uh, work it also need to be reflected in your database which means that maintenance in uh, maintenance is that the entirely the updation part in the maintenance and dissolution which means that terminate successful or sometimes um, not successful because of some uh, technical issues but it dissolve it successfully dissolve or unsuccessfully but it must need to be dissolved so terminate remove registration okay so this is uh, our the second video regarding our unit number one uh, okay uh, right now uh, because of uh, the the syllabus point is restricted up to here our unit number one will be finished uh, was finished if you have any question just uh, make them into the comment section um, okay thank you